so we're locked out of the bolt I've got the key right now on me oh it unlocked well let's see if it'll start my son said the car won't start so let's see what we got going here okay just beeped at me and the door is locked this is probably where he set the alarm off so let's hit the open door okay that worked now let's hit the power button again i got nothing all right let's open the hood so this is the 12 volt battery If you've got a dead battery and you're looking for the right one, you've made it far enough into the video. LN1 AGM. That's absorbed glass mat. It is a lead acid battery. They use the same basic lead plates and sulfuric acid chemistry as traditional batteries, but in a more advanced maintenance-free design where the electrolyte is held in fiberglass mats instead of being liquid. And I would have loved to replace mine with the one that's in here, but I could only find one, literally one battery near me. Die Hard EV battery, H4 group size, $259.99. I paid $22 for the core, which I can get back, 301.73 out of pocket. Well, leads look like they're on there. I guess now I can shut the door since I've got the hood open. And that's where walk away lock will get you. Let's try everything. So the next thing is gonna be to try to plug it in. So let's do that. Let's see what this does. All right, so it's charging. Now that it's charging, let's see if it'll let me in here. No. Well, that is strange. Alright, I've got the charge going. Still no response. Yeah, still no response from the power. Okay. Alright, still enough power in it to where it's got lights going on, so it's not dead, but it's dying. So we need to get some kind of trickle charge going. Let's do that. 12 volts on there. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I put the red on the red and the black on the black. And this thing is telling me it's reading. And I believe it has a cold mode. Yep, it's already set to cold mode. Cold mode is also coincidentally AGM. And the reason it went to that immediately is because it detected it was charging an AGM battery. We're good. We're reading a low state of charge. I'm doing everything I can. I've got 12 volt charging. I've got the car charging. One more try on the power button. I got nothing. All right, this is just a few seconds later. That's good news for the battery. We'll find out. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 24 degrees. All right, we've had a few minutes and it looks to me like it's still flashing green, which means it's not full, but it's getting closer. Now it's unplugged. And let's check this voltage. 13, it's got 13 volts. Let's try it again. So I just hit unlock and it actually unlocked this time when I pressed the unlock button. So that's a good sign. Initiating weight to shift. I think we might be good. Definitely climb it off. All right, all right, all right. Car's unplugged. Now. We are good to go. This car runs now. So it's time for a new battery. And before we put our new battery in, let's look and see what we need to do to keep any battery healthy. The Bolt EV checks in on the 12 volt battery voltage periodically and it charges as needed both when the vehicle is plugged in or unplugged. This feature works under certain conditions as explained below. While plugged in using a charge cord with the hood closed, the 12 volt battery will check the state of the charge every six hours. And if required, use power from the electrical outlet to charge the 12 volt battery. This process is active for 30 days after connecting the charge cord. If left unplugged, it's gonna check every 60 hours and use power from the high voltage battery to charge the 12 volt battery until the state of charge is depleted below 40%. And that's in 17 and 18, which is mine. 
but it's 12 and a half percent in 2019 or newer. So you've got better battery management in your 2019 and up. This is also interesting to note. The Bolt EV is equipped with active thermal management that keeps the high voltage battery within a specific temperature range during periods of very hot and cold weather. Once you're plugged in, the active thermal management is active for 30 days. Here are your cases for when the Bolt will charge its 12 volt battery on its own. If charging's available, leave your Bolt plugged in. After 30 days of non-use, unplug and replug the charge cord to restart the 30 day timer. Leaving the vehicle plugged in continuously for over 30 days may result in the 12 volt battery voltage being too low to power on the vehicle. That's huge. So if no charging is available, check the vehicle periodically and make sure you're above 50% battery. Planned long-term storage. Leave the charge cord unplugged and disconnect the negative cable from the 12 volt battery. Wow. Is plugging in the only way to maintain the 12 volt battery? No, the vehicle will maintain the 12 volt battery until the high voltage battery state of charge is below 40% or 12.5% if you've got 19 or newer. Does it matter if it's level one or two? No, both of them have a 30 day timer and will keep the 12 volt battery maintained. What do I do if my battery voltage is too low? If the vehicle has a 12 volt battery with low voltage, you can try to jumpstart the 12 volt battery with another vehicle using jumper cables. Can I use a trickle charger? Yes, however, the vehicle is equipped with an AGM battery which can be damaged using the incorrect type of trickle charger. And remember, mine detected the AGM, which is the next bullet. Use the AGM setting if possible. What happens if I leave the hood open. The 12 volt battery maintenance feature is disabled when the hood is open. So super important to know. I did have my hood open earlier. Luckily I had the trickle charger hooked up as well. Now let's change this battery. Socket 10 millimeter. There's not a lot of space. Go over here. Thirteen. Extender. You probably can't do this without the extender. Hold on to your bolts. That's the in order of which we're taking them off. All right. The next one is, is down in there, right there. It's also a 13 and the extender just barely does the job. Now this is, in my opinion, going to be the worst part of this job and that's going to be lifting this thing out of here because it's not straightforward i think you gotta you gotta lift a little bit and get around this cable here yep and then once you get around the cable this has to push around there and and you can't do it with the camera at least i can't so two-man job Shane is an awesome volunteer and then I guess you push this back a little bit so you got to push this back here a little bit and then yep, it comes out all right good Ooh, job oh man die hard EV Clarios AGM hybrid electric we can see when the battery was changed. It says 12322 right there. So that was con. All right. So let's see if we can't start putting the hardware in place there. Yep. First thing we do is this big old L. Yeah, the, okay. So you want to go in there like that. It's got a little bit of a twist to it. Okay, that was the handle. And push this down. Okay, let's start and go. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Now I need to line these holes up. Let's go further. There we go. Hey, there we go. Now we can see the hole there is lined up. Yeah, it's starting to thread pretty good. 
switch it to Titan. I believe this is first. We gotta do this first. There it goes there, we got it seated, okay. It's gonna go anywhere. Well, let's do this one too. That's pretty good too. Now let's try that shield. This should be able to that just... seems to fit okay. <laughs> so. True. Oh wow. Yeah, that's in there good. All right, moment of truth now. That says plug in to charge. And it starts finally. It goes into gear. Let me know about your Bolt battery experiences in the comments below and make sure you join Patreon or become a YouTube member if you'd like early access to every video. Subscribe for more. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you.